Hi there, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a semicircle using the Pathfinder subtract button. The overall process is really easy and yeah, let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a circle. We can do this by coming up to our object tool here and just clicking and holding and we'll come down to the ellipse tool. And we'll just come back into the middle of the page and we'll just click once. And that will bring up our sizing options. Um, just keep both the sizes the exactly the same, that way we get a perfect circle. Um, and just yeah, just keep them 100 by 100 for the time being, just to make things easier. Alright, so now we're going to want to change the colour of our circle and turn off the stroke. So I'm just going to hit this little arrow above my colours here, and now I'll just swap the colours around so our circle is now black. And making sure that the stroke one is at the front, we'll just come in and hit that cross and now turn off the stroke. Then we'll just zoom in a little bit by using the control plus just to see what we're doing. Alright, so the basis of making a semicircle is we're just going to draw a square over the top half of the circle and then we're just going to subtract that square and it'll cut out the bottom half as well, leaving well, we'll cut out the top half leaving the bottom half. So to do this we're just going to go back up to our object tool here and just hit the rectangle tool, come back down here and just click anywhere you want. And just keep the width the same, but we're gonna cut our height in half so we'll just have it 50 pixels there you go now using your pointer tool we'll just select both of these and we're going to line them up using an alignment at the top so obviously we want to align the top of the two objects and we also want to align them in center so there you can see after doing that the square is covering the top half of our circle so to cut that out leaving only the bottom half is really easy. All we need to do is open up our Pathfinder dialog box. You can do this by clicking on Pathfinder here or coming up to the window drop down and just clicking Pathfinder there. Once you've got the Pathfinder open, all you have to do is go up to this one here, the subtract from shape area, and holding Alt, click that one. And there you have it. Here's your semicircle. Now if you don't click if you don't hold on to Alt when you do that, you're going to leave behind a lot of paths and dirty paths and that sort of thing. As you can see, it's still a half circle, but when you click on it, it's still registering as a full circle. So if you just hold Alt and click on the Subtract button there, it automatically clicks the Expand button afterwards as well. So therefore you get rid of all those dirty paths. And there you have it. So if you found this tutorial helpful, feel free to hit the like button. Also subscribe, that always helps. This was part two of my Pathfinder series. I'll be uploading the final shortly. So yeah, keep an eye out for that and have a nice day.